morning or afternoon if you're watching later on in the day. Welcome to uh, our study in the Psalms. He was, we're, taking, we're taking our time in these King's Dailies to go through the book of Psalms, to use them devotionally, to worship with them, to pray with them, to encourage our hearts. <coughs> Excuse my voice. I hope it lasts through this next little while. We're in Psalm 31, and if you're a Bible, you might like to flick there, and we'll pray, and we'll see what the Lord has for us today. Lord, oh Lord, thank you so much for your constant attention towards us. Lord, we, 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 we can come to you, just turn to you in a moment, and you're, you're there, you're constantly thinking of us in your loving kindness and care. And Lord, we, we, we turn to you, we look to you, and we say, would you come and minister to us in these few moments before a million other things claim our attention today? In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, Psalm 31. Um, just to warn you, <laughs> Uh, in one commentary on this psalm, it, 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 the, the, it gives it the heading, stress. <laughs> so uh, that's the kind of thing we're in for here. And um, it's quite interesting because, you know, I've talked before about psalms being, um, you know, uh, there's some psalms of equilibrium. Everything's good. Lord, thank you. Then there's the, when, when things are out of equi equilibrium and a bit upside down uh, or, uh, uh, or and, and, you know, Lord, why is this happening? And then the other psalms are where things have come back into uh, equilibrium and harmony. And that sense, God, you're faithful. This one is, is quite turbulent. And this, he's upside down. He's, he's, and he's, he, he, he makes uh, great statements of faith and declaration. And then whoops, you know. And, and that, that's often the Christian life, isn't it? You know, and that's, this is learning to fight. It's learning to... Uh, to handle difficult times and not just to go down but to be wrestling a bit but i will trust in you oh yeah. <laughs> that that's often the way the christian life is and learning to to hold on and to trust and uh, declare wonderful truth so here we go in you lord i have taken refuge hiding you know there's uh, he, he's not on the on the attack here. <laughs> he's he's needing some refuge. You, you know what that feels like? Oh God, I hardly got the strength to fight. Maybe you feel like that, Lord. In you, I take my refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Something I've noticed. I I just browsed through the psalm a little bit earlier on. Uh, I you I you. This wonderful. Uh, uh, connection relationship is coming out even in i dare say especially in this hard time and it's often in the hard times that our relationship with the lord grows because we need him so much to in you lord i have taken refuge let me never be put to shame deliver me in your righteousness turn your ear to me and come quickly to my rescue and i think spurgeon says something lord your ear to my mouth please i i i've i've, hired, I've got my words are so faint i don't feel terribly bold and loud <laughs> lord, so your ear needs to come close lord turn your ear to me do you know that oh there's, there's something lovely here that that, that that god hears the the faintest oh god help me Sure, you've prayed prayers like that at times. I know I have. Uh, turn your ear to me. You know, it's, it's a, it, we could just pass over some of these words sometimes, but it's beautiful. It's, it's something precious there. Turn your come quickly <laughs> to rescue me to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. And I've somebody I've written in my margin here. Psalm 40, verse 2. I wonder why I put that there. Let's have a little look. I hope this works. Psalm 40. Why did I put that? Oh, yes, of course. So we'll get there in a few days' time. Psalm 40. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire, and he set my feet upon a rock. 
lovely, isn't it? Okay, so there's the, the rock, okay? This wonderful image for God. Unmoving, steadfast, sure, always there, dependable. Be my rock of refuge, a strong defence to save me. Since you are my rock, and you know, it's just you and my, since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your namesake, lead and guide me, Lord. Do you see this wonderful combination of, Lord, I'm trusting in you, so bring me through. There's this, this wonderful, he, he, he's, this is a walk of faith. Yeah? Lord, I trust in you. Help me. Lord, this is not, I'm, I'm, I'm under the cosh. Lord, help me. Wonderful. This is the walk of faith. And we need to learn to pray like that too at times. Yeah. Since you, he's kind of holding God to account, really. Since you're my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your namesake, lead me and guide me. Show me what, Lord, please show me. Show me where to turn, what to do. Help me. Because you are my refuge. Into your, into, into your hands I commit my spirit. Recognize those words? Uh, words of Jesus on the cross. Uh, you see, the Psalms, I, I, yeah, they're, they're so important. They're, 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 they're so often the prayer language of, of, of the church. That Jesus used that on the cross. I think you'll find in this Psalm, um, there's quotes from, um, uh, from Jonah, from Jeremiah. They, 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 they use the Psalms in their prayer life. When, you know, when, they, when they're going through tough times, Jesus did. So should you and I. Use the Psalms, pray the Psalms, enjoy the Psalms, sing the Psalms. They really, really will help you. Okay? They're inspired by the Holy Spirit, of course. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Deliver me, Lord, my faithful God. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Lord, you know, I, I, I might be alone, but I'm trusting in the Lord. I will be glad and I will rejoice in your love. That's lovely. I will be glad, and that's not enough. I will be glad and I will rejoice. See, it sounds like singing to me. And I did spot something in Spurgeon on this one. Um, here it says here, these two words, glad and rejoice, are instructive reduplication. We need not stint ourselves in our holy triumph, this wine we may drink in bowls without fear of excess. <laughs> this wine, it does us good. It, it brings joy to the heart. This wine, the wine of, of joy, you know, we, we, can, we, can, we can drink it to excess <laughs> and it will do us good. And that's Sp Spurgeon, wonderful. So, so there, you know, I'm going to be glad. I will. It doesn't say I am glad. I will be glad. I'm gonna. I'm not going down the tubes here. I will be glad, and I'm gonna rejoice in the Lord. And Spurgeon says, "Do it in excess. <laughs> You're not gonna get drunk. Do it in excess. It will minister to you. It'll do you. I, I, that's really great. I'm gonna. Re, I'm going to be glad, and I'm gonna rejoice in, in what? Why am I gonna? In your love. Yeah." the chesed, the covenant love, the mercy, the kindness of God. Because you saw my affliction and you knew the anguish of my soul. Yeah? You've not given me into the hands of the enemy, but you've put my feet in a spacious place. Um, I think when I was trying to say the A, maybe the AV says, you've put me in a spacious room or something like that, but you've put, you've put me in a space, oh, I'm in. I'm not refined. I'm not not stuck in a uh, in a rock of refuge. Yeah, I'm not sort of. Ah, I, I'm in a spacious place. Oh Lord, I'm going to sing. I'm going to rejoice. I I'm in a spacious place. I, I you've 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 given me a safe place to be that is generous and beautiful. We haven't got very far, have we? It, I, I think I want to leave us with with that. Please, verse seven. Take hold of that one today. Whatever you're going through, maybe you are going through stress, pain, difficulties. This psalm speaking of that. And I want to give you this verse. Verse It's highlighted in mine. Highlight it. I would recommend. I will. I will. I will be glad. And I will rejoice in your love. Okay. 
Lord, yeah, may we be guilty of excess with this verse. I will be glad and I will rejoice. I will sing, I'll make uh, a noise before you in excess because of your love. So please, Lord, help us, where, especially where we're feeling perhaps a bit browbeaten, maybe, stressed, pressured. David, don't know what it was. Was it, was, was it Absalom? I don't know what it was going on when, he, when this psalm was penned. But Lord, thank you for the inspiration of the Holy Spirit that we can pray that prayer to. And it makes all the difference. So go with us, please, Lord, today. I pray there'll be a song about whatever's going on. Rejoicing in your loving kindness. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Keep singing. Keep rejoicing. I will be glad. I will rejoice. See you next time. Bye now.